So having looked at a couple of quite bad box sets over the last two days with the uh, recent SDE TV looks back features, I thought it was about time we did something really good. So this is the 2009 Beatles in mono CD box set. So this came out at the same time as the stereo remasters. It was a massive reissue campaign, as I'm sure you remember. All the albums reissued in stereo and and in mono too, but to get the mono ones you had to buy the box set, so there was no separate availability of mono in CD. And this is quite a big deal because, as most Beatles aficionados uh, are well aware, the albums, with the exception of Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road and Let It Be, were all issued in mono and stereo. And the mono mixes tend to be the ones where the Beatles were there, especially the later albums, where they were slaving over the mixes with George Martin. And then the stereo ones were kind of done more quickly, uh, quite often without any of the other group there, and they were considered of secondary importance, really. And it's worth pointing out, as far as mono is concerned, people think of mono as just the same sound coming from each speaker, but... The, these were specific mixes that were done, so even though it is the same sound coming from each spe speaker, the point is the, the mix is different from the stereo mix. In other words, the levels, you know, the levels of the various instruments um, in Sgt. Pepper, how sound effects come in and out, they're different because they, they couldn't or didn't replicate them perfectly so I mean it makes it very interesting if you're really into the Beatles and you haven't heard the mono mixes especially Sgt Pepper and some of the later records then it's a whole new kind of world really so this box set was originally limited to 10,000 and then I think they did a reprint but it's basically limited I think you can still get hold of it more or less I think but it's certainly not cheap to get hold of anymore uh, prices have gone up now EMI put this out in the Japanese style mini LP CD, vinyl replica CD, so the CDs replicate the vinyl. And they were made in Japan, so they're proper high quality replicas, not a kind of European sort of um, inferior version. And it came with this wonderful box, which if, if anyone who collects Japanese CDs uh, will be aware that Disc Union in Japan create a lot of these wonderful box sets with like inner drawer which really, really is a very nice way to collect cds emi to their credit they made a point of of keeping this sort of high quality standards what happens is this pulls out and then inside you've got all, all the albums now as I, as i said earlier not every beatles album was released in mono so there's three missing from the end which is uh, in reverse order abbey road let it be and Yellow Submarine, well that's in reverse order of how they were recorded. So these are the uh, the albums here. So in Japan you normally get the kind of obi strips within these because this, it might be made in Japan but this isn't a, the Japanese edition, this is the standard European edition. So everything was made in Japan to the same standards but there is no Japanese accoutrements with this. I have got the backing sheet. I always go on about backing sheets. So that's what came on the back of the box. So 885 songs, remastered, uh, mono albums, and it's Please Please Me with the Beatles, Hard Day's Night, Beatles for Sale, Help, Rubber Soul, Revolver, Sgt. Pepper, Magical Mystery Tour, and the Beatles, which is the White Album, of course. So these are a wonder to behold. I mean, I'm a, I'm a real sucker for the, the properly exquisite Japanese style vinyl replica. And these don't really disappoint. They all come in the uh, resealable plastic sleeves. So this is Please Please Me, the first Beatles album, of course. And one of the ways you could tell the difference between mono and stereo were how these flaps were done on the back. These are outside and not inside in terms of how they're manufactured. But you can see the level of detail here. So this is laminated, this front cover is laminated. You can see in the light, there you go. And the flaps are laminated as well because they're part of the front cover that fold over. So everything's replicated as it was on the original release. No barcodes, no anything. Uh, this text here is exactly the same. And 
and the the inner sleeves are replicated there as well which you can see and there's the cd which has the kind of um parlophone gold label on it as you go along with these albums they get more impressive because there was more things going on with the later records inner sleeves and gatefolds and things so that's please please me that's 1963 of course the second album in 1963 was with the beatles classic front cover this is similar style to the previous one again laminated front cover i mean all the original mono all the original albums actually <laughs> tended to be laminated my dad had all the originals so i remember looking at these as a kid this is fairly much the same thing yellow parlophone label this time and the inner sleeve is still replicated now it does vary with these albums it's not the case that every mono mix is uh, necessarily better sometimes it's a track by track situation like revolver for instance some things on revolver sound amazing in mono some things don't so it's you have to kind of go through the albums and actually listen for yourself okay hard days night 1964 first album that's just got Lennon McCartney compositions on it and no covers same thing laminated front non laminated at the rear this does bring back the memories those photos and same kind of thing this yeah these should point out these um, this is typical of Japan packaging the little rice paper protective sleeves you know the Japanese love all that and there's the inner sleeve so it really was quite nice of EMI to do this because not sure necessarily where everyone would appreciate this kind of packaging but from a collector's point of view uh, they would do and there's no doubt about it the mono box was definitely aimed at collectors and not the sort of mainstream if you like who were more geared towards the stereo versions so Beatles for sale this was the first gatefold this was still in 1964 I mean this was this was you know when they were breaking America and there's so much going on it was ridiculous but that that inner sleeve photo there I've always really liked and as per the original the record comes out here so the you know in other words the uh, doesn't slide in from the outside so the yellow parlophone label and there should be an inner sleeve in here which there is so we're into 1965 with help classic cover I mean the Beatles album covers are always so good aren't they so we're back to a single sleeve no gatefold this is consistent with what happened before and rubber soul again 1965 i mean help and rubber soul two brilliant records uh, the cover looks fantastic in america this this dark orange is more gold wasn't it on the american version same thing yellow parlophone inner sleeve so 1966 and Revolver, 1966 was the year that the Beatles stopped touring of course. Great photo on the back of Revolver. Even though this is a fantastic album in terms there's no special inner sleeve at the time and there's the normal black and yellow parlophone label. Okay so here we get on to some of the flashier bits of packaging. This is of course Sgt Pepper from 1967 full lyrics on the back if you can read them with your failing eyesight classic gatefold and then this because it's a vinyl replica you get the the inner sleeve designed by the fool wasn't it called i think the yellow and black parlophone label and then in this insert you get the cutouts as well sergeant pepper is uh, written the wrong way around on the spine which is exactly how it was on the original. Now I still don't really think of Magical Mystery Tour as a proper album. It was released in America as an album. I think of it as a seven inch EP. My dad always had the proper seven inch EP, which I played a lot in my childhood in the 1970s. So I, I still have that feeling. It kind of became accepted part of the canon over the years. So EMI chose to replicate this for the mono box set but they've done it in the capital packaging and as capital did it as an album so it does have a a different feel this 
but you can see the detail how lavish it is I mean the whole booklet here is replicated this this is an, a kind of an oversized version of the original EP booklet although in this presentation it's undersized of course because it's replicated in miniature but that's the whole book huh? the disc because it's on capital they've they've replicated the capital star label slightly different inner sleeve but again this all speaks to the attention to detail i mean it's really well done and then the white albums next so this is probably the flashiest in terms of all the extra stuff because the white album came with posters and some glossy photos etc so this replicates all that stuff so you get the embossed beetles as per the original the only thing you don't get this they haven't numbered these so it's, there isn't numbers on it so we open this up this is top loading in the slots as per the original and what i like about this is it's you know it's called the white album but in reality it's not pure white it's a kind of creamy white and they've matched that perfectly with the uh, the way they've printed it here so of course we're at apple now so there's the apple label on on the cd this is the original poster which you got with the uh, white album so that's replicated as well oh, and on the back is the lyrics so that's pretty cool so that goes in the left hand slot there's also what i should have pointed out there's also inner sleeves here black inner sleeves as per the original so there's quite a lot going on in this uh, pocket so then in the second slot the second cd which represents the second album of course got another inner sleeve and then these are small replicas of the original color photos that came with the album so that's the white album there and that's it for the original studio albums but of course the beatles were so much more than an albums band they had so many amazing singles that weren't on albums so the mono masters was created to mop up all the mono singles and it's a pretty good compilation because you've got love me do from me to you thank you girl she loves you i'll get you i want to hold your hand this boy blah 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 the german ones that i won't even try and pronounce i mean they're all good aren't they day tripper we can work it out uh, you know my name look up the number which is the b-side to let it be so this obviously isn't replicating anything original but And this does come with a booklet, quite a thick booklet actually, which just takes you through. There's a bit at the beginning about the mixing and how how it's different. That explains it probably much better than I did at the beginning. It gives you notes on you know the albums and the recordings and there's all the original credits etc. So that's a really good booklet. So everything slots back in here. goes back in there like that now remember when this box came out a lot of people were saying oh it's such a shame because there's no let it be there's no abbey road there's no yellow submarine if you, if you could include the even just include the stereo versions of those then you'd have a complete box now there is a way you can kind of do that because a few years ago in japan they did indeed produce uh, vinyl replica versions of all the Beatles albums not just the mono ones including Abbey Road, Yellow Submarine and Let It Be. Now I don't know where my Abbey Road is which is slightly worrying but it's, I've got it somewhere I couldn't find it in my collection but here's Let It Be I'll just show you quickly what this is like. So this isn't mono of course this is a stereo master but the same principles apply here it's a vine, proper vinyl replica there's the red Apple logo and Apple label CD in a sleeve. Because these were actual Japanese exclusives, unlike the box you've just seen, you do get the, the uh, OB strip with it. Quite interesting because it in also includes the um, CD booklet, standard CD booklet, and there's another Japanese booklet there. So that slips back into there like that. I mean, it is quite a nice touch having the Japanese uh, Obi strip. And the same goes for Yellow Submarine. I mean, they did do Abbey Road just to show you it's on there. But this, this is Yellow Submarine. Obviously, this has got 
George Martin instrumentals as the uh, side two. That's the inner sleeve. Same thing, actually, there's another booklet with this. This is the original album, not the song track version, of course. So that goes back like that. So what you can do, I think there's just about enough room in here. But if you wanted to in this box at the end, you could, you could just about squeeze in the three extra records or the CDs, which would give you a complete Beatles album collection on a Japanese vinyl replica CDs. One thing I forgot to mention actually is on Help and Rubber Soul, even though this is a mono box, at the very end of the album they recorded the original 1965 stereo mix because uh, the story there is George Martin remixed those two albums for the original 1987 CD release and it's those versions that they use for the 2009 remaster and there was a little bit of, I wouldn't say an uproar, but there was a slight kind of raising of eyebrows when that happened. Um, and I think Apple and EMI probably thought that, that could, those eyebrows could be raised. So as a way to make up for that, I think, you know, from, from a collector's standpoint, they thought, well, let's just put the original stereo mixes on these CDs because then at least people can't complain they haven't got the ability to buy them. So that's what they did with that. So as I say, these have never been available separately. So the only way to get these mono versions is to buy this box set um, there was the you, there are the american versions which did get issued on cd as well predating the 2009 remasters you could get the original american mixes mono and stereo together on one cd and then later on after this there was the us albums which used the same mixes in this box it wasn't the weird kind of echoey American mixes. But anyway, I mean, this is one of my favorite box sets. I mean, it's all the Beatles albums on CD, in mono, presented immaculately as vinyl replicas. And it's just wonderful in every way, in terms of packaging, in terms of content, sound, albums. It's just pretty amazing. So this is Paul from Super Deluxe Edition taking a look at the Beatles in mono CD box. Mm -hmm. 